Hi, welcome back, everybody. Let's get into the trending topics now and uh, see what is on the top of that list. All right, so uh, Malema, and you know, funny enough, Malema was trending yesterday as well, and this was kind of a trend, almost previewing what did happen yesterday. And the whole idea was basically that uh, the EFF went uh, marching to um, Ntata and um, the uh, EFF president, of course, out and about and talking about, you know, the, the, the awful things of gender-based violence and says that uh, they, they're going to do all they can to try and beat it. But add to that is the fact that there was, um, they're going to have a mass funeral for our fallen fighters on Saturday and the EFF will ensure that all of them have a dignified send-off. And what they're talking to is that um, the, the uh, EFF members of Mpumalanga who passed in a car accident while doing organizational work um, will be getting that funeral. So sad news there, but that's certainly something. And he's also saying the EFF is going to build quality houses for their family. That's what, uh, that's what they're saying. Right. That is uh, Malema there for you. And then um, the next one, Leanne, uh, nuclear. And again, uh, this one, uh, kind of trying to pin it down. Uh, Matela Koko, among others, uh, speaking about this, saying clever blacks objected to the procurement of 9.6 gigawatts of nuclear power because it would cost one trillion rand. They asked, where will the money come from? Today, we are told four trillion rands is needed to move from coal. Where will the money come from? Mm. So that starts a whole conversation about, um, you know, again, South Africa's energy mix and exactly how we're going to get there and all the uh, nuance and speculation around who's to benefit, how they're going to benefit and ultimately where do we go? All right. So that's, that's the idea of nuclear. And then the next training topic, I think it's, uh, yeah, Brian Malefe. Again, it's, it's just a, a whole conversation um, about Glencore and Brian Molefe. Uh, just, the, I can just see there's a whole conversation that's taken place about this and basically showing Molefe, Glencore sold shares to Ramaphosa to gain political benefits. That's a headline that's been taken and just one of the tweets around that Glencore pleaded guilty on charges of bribery and manipulation to get oil contracts to the value of $25 million. The evidence by Brian Molefe at the State Capture Commission on Glencore and Ramaphosa was swept under the carpet by a biased politician celebrity judge, Zondo. And that's uh, from somebody called the special one. Then another one, Mighty Jamie saying, I know Brian Molefe is not popular because of the 30 million payout and the associations with the Zuma faction. Still, Glencore has been found guilty in many parts of the world for paying bribes, market manipulation, um, you know, and, and, and that's, that's kind of the, the, the whole root of the conversation between Glencore and Brian Molefe. Right, the final one this morning, hashtag Arthur Zwane. Arthur Zwane is trending. Um, hashtag Mangete, hashtag 10 triple one, all of these as he was appointed uh, the coach of Kaiser Chiefs for the next three years. And of course, uh, the Amakosi faithful very happy about this particular move, uh, saying that it is well deserved, it is long overdue. And uh, he's going to be given a chance, uh, deputized there by uh, another former player, Dylan Shepard. So it's going to be interesting to see. And, you know, people asking, what are my views as a supporter yeah, of this yeah. team? I, I, I'll wait and see. Yeah. I'm going to do what I did with Steve Gombella. I'm going to shut my mouth and watch. And <laughs> wait and see approach. Wait and see. Cautiously yeah. optimistic, but I'm going to wait and see. Well, good luck with it. Good luck. I hope it's, I hope it's a positive a positive move for the team. Thank you. <laughs> You know, you never know until you know. But, uh, yeah. of course, they, 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 we could do much worse. So he's proven himself. Um, it's going to be interesting for me to see whether Arthur Zwane, who's um, been in charge of the youth uh, structure, how many of those players he's going to bring through, mm. how he's going to bring them through, merge them. And, of course, we need to sign players. Yeah. And yeah. hopefully we won't be signing... <sighs> Let me... <laughs> let me <rest. laughs> Yeah, so before I say things on this Friday morning. Ah, you're um, just hanging here. Like, no, no, no. I was going to say, hopefully we won't sign uh, Fong Kong has been great players from wherever. Hence, I'm very curious about the youth structure and how many of those players he would identify to promote to the senior team. But that being said, we still need to sign quality 
experienced players and, and, and get it right, okay. more importantly. Well, you know what, we're sharing, we, we're sharing your enthusiasm with the viewers because we asked the same question. So I can only imagine the debate that's going to be taking place. So here's the question for today. Arthur Swane appointed Kaiser Chiefs head coach. You think he's the right guy for the job? We asked you the question. You heard SK's um, um, response to it. So looking forward to hearing what you have to say as well. So that's, that's what we're looking at. One other trending topic that we didn't kind of pick up, I'm looking at it now, is the car train. When yesterday it was announced the car train, there are a whole bunch of new stations that it's planning on building. Well, it's a big talking point. So yeah, are they gonna go, well, all over the place is what they're saying. Saying it's an important milestone still in the early, early stages of the process and people are just talking to it that they, um, they, they, they're going to be opening up a whole bunch of new different areas. I mean, from Little Falls in Rudapurt to the east of Hendrik Portketa Road in Willow Brook, uh, then Zunspray, then Jackal Creek Golf Estate, Cosmos City, um, uh, the new station. So there's a whole bunch I of I have many planned. questions. I have many questions. Of course questions. there's millions of questions. Firstly, how much is this going to cost? Secondly, yeah. how long is this going to take? And, and, and those are just, you know, um, top line questions. Yeah. If you look at rail infrastructure and who the how train serves at the moment. Ordinary South Africans cannot it's afford to use the how train. No. What are we doing about those people who actually use trains because they cannot afford any other mode of transport, regardless of the fact that trains are unsafe? Yeah. And now you have all the rail infrastructure that's stripped to the bone. What are we gonna do? We're gonna rebuild those same structures or is this an opportunity to do something new and modern that would actually be beneficial to yeah. South Africans in their numbers, to the masses, mm -hmm. and not just to the elite. Yeah, and that's 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 the thing that people are speaking to. Is it a, it's a great worry about this. But that's that's what they announced. But I, it would be great to get them actually here. Is the how train profit is it profitable about, at the moment? I have, are you asking me? I don't know. That's why I'm saying we have we'll to get see. these guys in and, and talk about it. But that is a. It's an interesting one and also a definite conversation to be had. All right, let's get out. Let's take that break.